103. Uh, when we come back, we'll be talking with Maria Brink from In This Moment. 103 Rocks. From the huge studios, another hour of relentless rock starts now. Yeah, before we can get to any of the uh, the music and whatnot, I got uh, Maria Brink from In This Moment. Why do I keep freezing when I say that? I have no idea. I don't know. It could be your, your cool hat. <laughs> Maybe it's my cool hat. It be. could be a cool hat. It throws <laughs> me off. Dalton here. Uh, Maria in the studio. Local girl, right? Yeah. Local, uh, where, where, where from? Uh, well, actually, we moved. I don't want your address. I mean, or yes. we, let's get well, that on there. Yeah. Now we moved all the time, but basically the the area I was born in Schenectady. So, oh, okay. Yeah, and I live over here. So. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. And I, I mentioned the, the the fun hat you got there in your head. Uh, yeah. Earlier on our website, q 3 albany dot com, little right up there, Rob Dawes put up. I saw a picture from a photo shoot. You and the band mm-hmm. wearing well a hat similar to a different you, one. Let me describe it, to listeners. If you're familiar with Street Fighter One and Two, she looks like <laughs> M Bison. <laughs> Uh, the bad guy <gasps> with the big yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cool. I mean, are you uh, you into communism or something? No. Or what's with the hat? Before we came here, I go because we went, this is a new hat because I just love the hats. They're expresses and they're fun. It's mm-hmm. not a communist hat unless there's crazy Nazi well, things got, on it. It's got red. Yeah. But, well, I think yeah, Nazis no. were against communism, but yeah, yeah. it's well. <laughs> what? what? Are you, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but it's 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 just a fun rock and roll hat. That's all it is. Oh, There's right. no Nazi pins or representing yeah. anything on yeah, it whatsoever. Only, or only communists. The, only the swastika tattoo on her forehead. Don't, you guys he's lying. I have butterflies and, and like unicorns tattooed on me. All right. <laughs> Nothing but magic and peace. Well, I do like it. It's a Thank cool you. look. And that's another thing I want to bring up. Um, Judas Priest. Judas Priest. Come on. It's rock and roll. <laughs> I don't know if every rocker does that. Uh, in this moment, you guys... You you guys are going. Uh, you guys on tour right now. I mean, obviously you're in town. We had here. three weeks off, so we just had a break. So oh, congratulations! Thank you. How was that? How, how have you guys been uh, thumping the road? How long? Uh, well, without we just finished the album, so we only went, went on the road for about a month and a half, and then we got these three weeks off, and now we go solid for three and a half months. Oh, geez, yeah, man. no, no, no rest, no days off. Fair. Yeah, when an album first comes out, it's a lot of work, but it's good work. It's fun and getting new music out there and everything. Well, I appreciate you you stopping in and spending some time with us. Uh, the new album is it is it out yet? It's called Blood. August fourteenth. August fourteenth. Yep. Yeah, and, yeah, and and the single Blood comes officially comes out. Uh, the twelfth of right. this month. Well, tell us a little bit about the the upcoming album. I'm all, all about it and uh, how many Nazi uh, communist I'm hats are going to be involved. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I am everything that is represents against that. Oh, okay. it's rock and roll hat, people. Rock and roll hat. <laughs> I'm going to break his arm tomato, for the tomato. end of this interview. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, <laughs> the new album is our best album that we've ever done. It's it's dark. It's in, it's provocative. It's heavy. It's it's groundbreaking for us, and I think it's just really special. And uh, we had a lot of change happen in this album, and it was the best thing that could have happened to us. Mm-hmm. We're really excited. Now, is, uh, is the change is in like your sound or change we as a band? Ch- we changed two members. Um, two members actually went to that American Idol dude. Um, uh, yeah, w- James the guy Durbin. who kisses people on stage, or no, James oh. Durbin. I don't know if he kisses people. Kelly Clarkson, that and guy. Then, no. Oh. James Durbin. James Durbin, oh. And then we ended with our management that we had been with for a really long time, Blasco mm-hmm. from uh, Ozzy. So it was really scary for a little bit. And we Did had, that feel like a liberation or was it first, sad? No, at first it was devastating. We mm-hmm. didn't even know. We were like, for like 10 minutes, we were like, do we break up? Or was this done? And then I for like, you know, can we be friends? I like mean, what's going on? No, we wish them the best. And we, yeah. all of them, you know, our manager worked with us for so long. We miss, wish him nothing but the best. And we respect everything we did with the guys and the band. So, but it was still scary when like a bunch of people drop off. You're like, what do we do? And so, but it lit this fire in me that I can't even begin to express to you that it was just like, I was like, I haven't even begun to do what I want right, to do. Yeah. And so the fire, I think that it gave and people giving up on you just, just kind of, you know, brought so much power and passion in this album, and it's really the best album we've ever done. And then we got new, powerful management, all these great things, and and just new everything. And so now we're the strongest we've ever been in all of our career. So it just goes to show that 
when people give up on you or you think things are really hard, it's like you just can't give up. Right. Yeah. You know, like if you're just tuning in and we're talking to Maria Brink from uh, In This Moment, and uh, you just, you know, like, so you really had one of those sink or swim moments in yes. life. And it's like, man, it's it was all good and now it's gone. And, yeah. And you really made a, a positive out of a huge negative there. That's, yeah. That's impressive. Thanks. And uh, the new album, Blood, uh, again, come out in August 14th. 14th. Yep. Yeah. That's a good date. Yes. Because I'm going to remember it 100%. <laughs> uh, you said this is going to be like the hard, one of the most hardest, darkest, special. Those are those are contradicting words, but uh, I like it. Dark and special. It's, it's the most powerful album for sure. It's, mm-hmm. it's the most. Uh, we're brave on this album. I'm brave on the album. It's definitely. It's provocative. It's it's raw. It's 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 and it's different. It's something we've. I mean, it's still us, but it's brand new and yeah. it's really fresh. And, and ge- gentlemen out there, if you've never seen Maria, she is an attractive girl. So listening to a dirty, provocative album by her, that's going to be a bonus. It's. I have a troll nose. She has a troll nose <laughs> and a big jewel in her belly, which is weird. I guess it just goes with trolls. Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, well, uh, let me. You said dark. I, I love music. I love all types of music, but the rock metal world is right. just so strange when it comes to like i was talking about your hat and and the photo shoot i saw uh the a lot of bands not just not just you guys not just in this moment but wear like makeup to make themselves look like dead bodies or zombies on stage explain this to me is it just uh just because you love zombies well for us like before we actually haven't been known as a dark band like Mm -hmm. for people who have followed us uh we were really oh because the first album uh puffy uh, polar bears and whistles I love that one. The second one was Unicorn. No, mm-hmm. but we have, we're known for kind of being inspirational and kind of having a lighter vibe to us, which is kind of different in the kind of rock and, you know, active rock kind of metal world. Mm-hmm. So this is our darkest album in the way, but it's all metaphorical and still has a strong positive meaning. Like it's really about the blood of the Phoenix and kind of through all death and ending is brand new beginning. So it's still really positive, even though it kind of has a dark twist on it. Uh-huh. And I think whatever you are like for us our guys look a lot darker on this album they're all kind of suited they look like they were beat up and pulled out of graves and <laughs> their clothes got lit on fire but yeah, i think because I've, I've met you before it was probably a year and a half ago when i was working in rochester you guys came in uh clean looking, right. looking clean and alive I mean, tattooed and we're and tattooed in dreadlocks but yeah, yeah 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 but not zombified i think that the intense look that they're bringing now and even me i'm up in my game and, and bringing a whole new thing yeah, is with like, the m bison hat we want This is a Jesus hat, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Okay, no. (laughs) Jesus wore many hats. I know. So basically, the album has a a lot of. It's really intense, and we want to up our game, and we want to headline arenas. We want to bring it to a new level, and we wanted to visually have a show here on like our new show is completely blows away anything we've ever done. We want you to visually look at us and see our show and have everything be like one big thing with the music, with what you're seeing. And we come together and we're making a statement to represent the album visually as well. So we're just kind of trying to have it be one big art piece. Can I, uh, can I make an, uh, a suggestion for yeah. a big show? Go ahead. Robots. I wish I could have robots. Robots. Well, you got to get bigger. You got to yeah. get bigger so the money for the robots is available. Uh, yeah, totally. Remember <laughs> Zombie had those big robot monsters come out? And they were so cool. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> I don't, I, I, never mind. I take the robots back. <laughs> okay. <laughs>